some of the passages in the book, you know, I want, I'm going to read one because Oh, wow. There's a, I wasn't expecting this. You say, I was at least by normal person's rules too old to be role playing. I spent my days trying to hide all of myself because even if a tiny bit slipped out at school, those shitty girls would rip it to shreds in front of everyone. Yeah. Jessica and Sarah, you're bullies. It's so strange. The initial thing was like, yes, an onslaught of insults and like just making fun of everything I said or whatever. But then um, we got to the point where they were mad that I was still trying to hang around with them. They would kind of walk around in a group and I would be a few paces behind them, like a satellite. And I have a very specific memory of after lunch, a bunch of the girls going to what they called the bookstore on our, in, on our school campus. It was a private school and there was a bookstore, kind of like a college campus. Right. And there was one girl, Catherine, and she always had money. And so we all went there, but I walked behind them, so I like always did. And then we got in there and she bought everybody candy. And then, and I was at the end. And then she looked at me and it was probably the first time she had talked to me in days. And she was like, not you. And I remember saying, I know. And I remember saying like, I can't believe that I'm acknowledging that this is happening. Was there a moment when you decided I'm gonna put some of this out there or has it been a gradual? It's always been out there. It has. Yeah, bit. because of stand up. Yeah, right, right. There is, I think it comes from being bullied. I think it comes from living in the patriarchy that there's an urge in me that's like, accept me. And don't just accept me, eat it. Like, enjoy it. You didn't even know you needed this. And I do, I do have that like sort of, that side to me, just yeah. a bit. But it's like being a stuffed animal tiger. You think so? A little bit. It's like if there was a tiger that was a stuffed animal and had two little black boxing gloves on it, that is me. See, I think that, <laughs> I think that that's really honest. You really are constantly drawing and redrawing the picture of who you want to be. Yeah, that's true. But you have to be um, limber to do that, which means completely in rejection of the phrase bent out of shape, that right. every shape that you'll be bent into, whether you do it to yourself or you're blown by the wind or someone comes in there and fucking breaks you in half for a sec, is still you, and that you are meant to, to change and stretch. So no version of yourself is permanent? No. Good or bad? Yeah, no version of myself is permanent, but sometimes the, the bad parts are, um, trying to fool me into thinking that they're permanent.